last time on the thrilling adventures of Gabrush Threefwood, Mighty Pirate. I need his body for my experiment. I'll pay you double to bring him back to me alive. Use? Hmm. Use what? Claw thingy. thingy. Hmm. Use it with what? Yourself. Yourself. Like this? That's perfect. <laughs> now just um, hold that pose. All right, the camera, I've okay? seen that. Hmm. I'm not getting it out of there that way. Can Guybrush retrieve the final summoning artifact? Will these artifacts lead him to La Sponja Grande? And can Guybrush trust the supposedly reformed La Chuck? Stay tuned and find out. Oh, there. Hmm, looks like someone else tried to pry the artifact out of here with no luck. Alrighty, let's pry it out of there. Come on! Need some help? Yeah, nope, I got it. It's just really stuck. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I need your help. I can't get that turtle artifact out of there. Any ideas? Why not just let me do it? Elaine seems to think I have the strength of ten men. In fact, when I get Yeah, back... yeah, forget it. I'll do it myself. Mm. Don't like him, but... Here. Do it. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna let you try to get the summoning artifact out of the stone, but only because you're a lot stronger than me. But you'd better give the hey, artifact I'm right back, one. I swear! Relax, Threepwood. I promise. All you need to know is where to apply pressure. Amazing! We've done it, Guybrush! Yep, sure did. Now if I can just... Just look at it. Pure gold. A treasure fit for any respectable pirate hold. Okay, come on, just let me have. And surrounded with the secret power to summon ancient mysterious beasts of the sea. Now listen here, you fleshy sack of chum! You better be handing over that golden sea turtle, or I'll be handing you your liver on the pointy end of me hook! Uh, you are infected yep. with the pox after all. I'm so sorry, Guybrush. Somehow uh, I feel this is all my fault. Not to worry, boy. We'll get these artifacts, find La Esponja Grande, and have you cured in no time. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. The truck you suck! Guybrush? Hmm, that big guy has the artifact. If I run up and take it from him, McGillicuddy would probably make me first in command. Heck, he might even let me eat this week. Then again, he is pretty big. I better gather some men. <coughs> oh, ow. LeChuck! I was right! I knew I couldn't trust nope. him! Nope, never trust oh, LeChuck. No. The summoning artifact! Never trust LeChuck. Take it, just in case. Guybrush! Are you okay? Fine, you backstabbing backslapper. Give me that sea turtle. Of course, Guybrush. I understand that you want to take the credit. It's important to look good in front of your wife. It's not that, it's just... Now, if you'll be so good as to excuse me, I need to get back to the task of returning the monkeys I once kidnapped back into the wild. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the number of monkeys it takes to complete an evil voodoo curse. <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't understand voodoo curses, so I wouldn't know. And the truck's gonna be somewhere over this way. Let's see, up this way if I remember right. Oh, nope, I guess that doesn't happen yet. Incoming! What the, what's going 
At least forget where some stuff it's is. It's McGillicuddy. He's moving his ships in and creating a blockade around the island. He's gonna tear this place apart if he doesn't get those summoning artifacts. I'm headed for higher ground. I'll be at the shop if you need me. Sir, I'll take the screaming narwhal out to sea before the blockade has a chance to move in, so she's not caught in the crossfire. Okay, I'll find a way to get out to you as soon as I find... Ah! Help! Elaine! Winslow, wait! I have to get Elaine. I'll be right back. No time, sir. You'll have to find a way to slip past the blockade. I'll be waiting to pick you up. Is someone there? I need some help! Ready? I'm coming, Elaine, my darling. No, Sea Bunny. What happened? Miguel cut it. He caught me off guard, knocked me out, and kidnapped Chieftain Beluga. I was working out a plan to rescue him, but then I got blindsided by a falling chunk of nurse statue, and now I'm stuck. I got ya. All right, let's sneak out to my ship and sail out of here. Right, your ship. That's perfect. I needed one more ship for my plan. Oh, and we're not leaving yet. But... Okay, listen carefully. There's always a weak point on the blockade. We're going to use a classic two-point distraction skewer to take advantage of it. Double joint attraction skewer. Got it. I'm going to get my ship out of hiding and provide a distraction on the east side. Your job is to get to the Spoon Isle Beach and distract them on the west. How do I do that? There's a cannon on the beach. Constant attachment that should keep them occupied so someone else can slip through unnoticed. Who else is there? I also need you to tell the Chuck about his part. He needs Blood to sneak junk. through the weak point in the blockade once you and I have them distracted. Then take never your ship, the sail out to McGillicuddy's flagship, you never trust the button. and rescue Beluga. Actually, I think I should be the one to sail out there and do the valiant sinking and rescuing of the Merc. Uh, queen, whatever. King, queen, oh, sweetie, I wish you could. But the pots are Oh, Lane seems to know it's a he. I'll trust her. Now. The, you There's know, no Gyrus obviously hasn't been paying attention. But it's my ship. And I said it! Quit your way! some barnacles for Blackbeard's sake! I'm making the plans here, fancy pants! Yikes! Um, don't look now, but... Poxy Lane, huh? Infected with the pox. Unless you want to find yourself in a match instead of hook hands, I suggest you do as I say. Yes, dear. I've got to run, love. Go and find the Chuck and tell him the plan. Hey, LeChuck, Helene says you should see how many cannonballs you can fit in your stupid... I can hear you! Yes, dear. And yet she still finds them funny. Ah, that is love. I'll need these for later. There. Now they won't singe everything in my pockets. <coughs> or heck, singe your... Yeah. I'll leave that one be. Certainly won't singe that big rod you have in there. And by that I'm talking about the murky, get your head right out the gutter people. Now I can steal the hot tub controls. Uh-oh. Whoops. Uh-oh. If nobody saw it, it didn't happen. Nope. It didn't happen. Nobody saw nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Alrighty. Oh, well, I can't leave since my ship's gone, but I can take a raft. Alrighty, up to here. See where was that? And it was no, nope, not that way. Or maybe it was over this way. I'm looking for. Yes, here we go. I will need you. Well, they're in there, but they really aren't hot enough to do anything. That's why we need this. Hey, perfect fit! 
And they said that heating and air conditioning certificate I earned at Pirate Night School would never come in handy. <coughs> Gotta turn it up. Sure it's Whoa, nice and hot. Now that's a barbecue. And now, my little pirate parrot. Over Sorry, the... little guy. Good thing you're not actually alive. What? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Well, that's unsettling. Ooh, melting. Ouch! Hot. Right. Yeah, it's hot. So we gotta run. We gotta run. While it's still hot, before it cools. Never ever let it cool. Over the edge you go. Bullseye. Now you gotta wonder, what are we aiming for here? You'll see. And you also probably wonder, what possible use could there be in putting gold a pyrite parrot into that? Come on. Come on. There we go. Alrighty, traveling on, traveling on, traveling on. The altar fell and broke to pieces. So now we go over here to where it was. And where? The pirate well, turtle artifact. Sea turtle artifact. Made from fool's gold. Hmm. Irish definitely has good aim to get that. One counterfeit sea turtle artifact. Not bad. Good enough to fool the undiscerning pirate eye, anyway. Stay tuned and subscribe for more thrilling adventures with Dragon Twilight on Monkey Island.